receiving one of our nets, you know where it came from. My favorite thing about a handmade net from us is it's made personally to your specifications. It's not a manufactured, pushed out as fast as they can. Everybody gets the same thing. I like to say from hoop to handle, that net is completely customizable. If you're looking for something that uh, will last you, if you take care of it your lifetime, that will accentuate the beauty of the fish that you're catching, but also reflect you as a person and the things that you enjoy, uh, you're getting something that's one of, uh, and that's something nobody else can reproduce. Originally it started with a fishing trip that me and Crystal took, uh, my wife, and uh, we were out fishing one day, took my dad's fishing net with, uh, and just like every good boy, I left it there at the river. I felt bad for it. I knew that he had had that net for a long time, and um, I decided to replace it, so I thought I'd step it up and, and get him a nice new net to replace it, say I'm sorry for losing it. That's the second net he ever made. He made one for himself uh, when he fell and broke it. And then at Christmas time, he made that one for me. And uh, I didn't know it until Christmas day when I opened that one up, that dad was down here all day during the day building that Working one for on me. This one. <laughs> I had no idea. Pain in the ass. No. <laughs> it, I mean, it's a it's a blessing, you know. How many people do you know that work with their dad every day? How many how many people do you know that can drop what they're doing to go pick their son up at two thirty in the afternoon because he's out of school? You know, it's uh, when I whenever I reach my grandfather's age, it'll be a time that I reflect on very fondly. The amount of time that you can spend out on the water fly fishing is, is valuable time to us, and especially my dad used to work for NASCAR and uh, took him away a lot. So while we always had a great relationship, we were never really buddies until I was probably 23, 24, whenever I found out about the trout fishing in North Carolina that was, was pretty close, pretty prevalent. That to me really is what attracts me the most to fly fishing is that it's something that me and my dad have grown such a close relationship to one another over the last five or six, seven years. It's something that we can do together, something that I, my son enjoys, something that we can all go and spend an afternoon doing. To us, there's really no greater joy than watching the other one or experiencing it ourselves. That first tug of the afternoon and watching a fish go crazy. part about the, the nets and then the relationships that I find is that um, a lot of fly fishermen are like us. They enjoy tinkering with different things, figuring out how stuff works. They enjoy obviously the outdoors and uh, the wilderness. Building those relationships with people gives you more friends in the loop, more family to go fishing with. And then, especially if they buy a net and I get to deliver it to them, you can see the eight-year-old kid at Christmas come back alive in them. You know, it, it's pretty cool to see their gratitude whenever you do get to deliver a net to them. And then it's all over a common, uh, all over a common uh, likeness. You know, for fly fishing or fishing in general. Woo! The biggest thing for me that I think makes our nets is special is the wood burning. The images that we have put on so far, I don't see anybody else doing that as far as nets. As far as graphics go, I do have some that have already been done that I have come up with myself or my father has come up with. We do have plenty of people that call me and ask, can you do whatever it is I've asked you to do? 
and come up with their own custom designs. So as far as how customizable are these nets, it's really up to you as far as how involved with this do you want to be. Our coating, our finish that we put on it is really a showroom finish for how they do a clear coat on a car. So you really get a very high gloss finish, very glass-like look that a lot of net makers do not use. It's very protective, very waterproof. Uh, it's made for um, the spars on a sailboat, so it, it's made to sit outside, be outside in the harbor. So it, it's very, very durable, very waterproof, but really makes it shine. Well, first off, we're gonna talk to the, whoever the customer may be, uh, find out what they're interested in. Once we figure out which size fish you're gonna fish for, which size net we're gonna, we're gonna build, We'll discuss with you the shape hoop, shape handle, the materials as far as uh, whether you not you want walnut, maple, cherry, whatever that may be, and come up with the overall design for your net. Once we get that locked in, then it goes to the drawing board for me and dad. I have not been approached yet by a customer, can you do this? And I've been, I had to tell them no. Be connected to fly fishing you know if you do I guess something connected to what you enjoy doing um, it work is not work you know it may be physical labor involved but I get to spend every day with my dad and most every day with my kids and I'm always sharing stories and talking about fly fishing you know in a day spent talking about fly fishing or actually being out fly fishing is a pretty good day to me